Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Hi, welcome and or welcome back to everybody. Because today's video, I'm doing a collaboration with my good friend Jenna. She does makeup beauty here on YouTube and we're also friends on Instagram. So do check her out. She's Australian. She's based in Brisbane. She loves makeup, skincare, all of that kind of stuff. So if you guys love anything to do like that, then please do check her out. And let's get into it, shall we? A lovely lady please go and follow her and today we are doing a look with our favorite BB products or most of BB products so that's going to be exciting because BB is one of our favorite brands so I actually thought I had a lot more designer brand stuff um, as in designer brand by DB um, Oh, nearly dropped that. I've still got this to play with because I was meant to play with it at Christmas time. Never got around to it, but we're going to play with it today. It's the DB Beauty Book Dazzling Eyes Beauty Book, and it looks something like this. You can still get it on their website. Some of my stuff is old. I'm a makeup hoarder, it is what it is, um, and I don't throw out stuff if it doesn't smell or anything like that. I keep it. Let's do this, shall we? First up, I'm going to apply the Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. It looks something like that. It's a very bougie packaging, quite heavy. It's not a lightweight bottle, but it's one of my all time favorite primers. Very glowy. I love a good glowy base, so if you like matte, you probably will not like that, but I do believe they have um, different ranges of primers to suit your needs. This one's quite hydrating as well. No, just rub it in with the fingers. And yes, I do go quite red because I've got reactive skin in general. But it does settle. It's very smoothing, fills in the pores a little bit. It's a good primer. See how glowy it is? Gives you that nice lit from within. Very pretty. For foundation, I'm using their Skin Renew Ceramide Foundation. A really bougie bottle. They do excellent packaging. Look how pretty is that? Nice glass bottle. I didn't say uh, Designer Brands by DB is also cruelty free and vegan, and they are Australian. I'm going to be applying it with my Flower Beauty brush, foundation brush. It's one of my all time favorite ways. I'm not really a sponge person when it comes to foundation i prefer a brush and this is more of a radiant finish foundation a good medium cover coverage but you can build her up blends out really easily probably the only thing that's lacking is the shade ring I like to stipple to blend it in. So I would call that a light coverage, but I am going to build it up a little bit just because I actually haven't got a concealer. I used to have the Ceramide concealer, but I can't find it. It's somewhere in my piles. Still see the glow from the primer. As you can see, it builds up really nice. I haven't added concealer, really nice coverage. Okay, so now I'm going to try the Dazzling Eyes Eye Book Peachy Palette. Paid $15 for it, which I think is pretty reasonable, especially for Australian makeup. Got a couple of the designer brands brushes. That's from their last makeup set that they did. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the rose gold one. I love too that it's a good mix of cooler tones and warm tones. These are blending out so nice. And I feel like they're really pretty everyday colours. I'm going to pack on the colour a little bit, but it does build up. I like that a lot. A really pretty colour and blends really well. So far the mattes are really nice. They go on super smoothly. Pigmented, not patchy. 
There's not so much of a deeper shade that I can use in this. Um, I've got a bronzer by DB that I'll use because I do like to deepen up my crease a little bit because I do have hooded eyes. That's the... Just to add a little bit more a depth. Haven't gone muddy. Yeah, I like how this is coming together. This bronzer, I don't know if this shade's still available, but they do still have other ones in this range. And it's the Brilliant Skin Bronzer and Contour Duo. They do good face products. That's really pretty. I might wet it. And this is just their rose setting spray. That's better. There's no real inner corner shade that I want to use. I think this is still available. Um, check some of the chemists. I think Amcal sells DB and Terry White. They might still have this, but it's the ICU palette. Excuse how used it is but it's really pretty i'm going to use that shade that's really pretty i'm to clean up and do the lower lash line a little bit i'm going to take a couple of the nudie matte and that deeper brown they blend out so smoothly for the brow bone i'm just going to take it's a matte cream that one I like how that's turning out. See, this one was from the year before, I do believe. It's the dupe for the Benefit palette. Um, super pretty though, if you can find it. I really rate their face palettes like this. I'm gonna go in with because I didn't set my Foundation, this will also aid in setting it a little bit. Just to, I think this is also available online in their clearance section. But I like the way that their face products build up really well and they're not chalky, they just blend really easily. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this darker one. And this brush that I'm using is a BYS brush. See how it just gives a nice bit of definition? I'm going to use the blush. It just adds a really nice pop of colour. I think it's quite a flattering shade actually. This is another BYS brush. Yeah, blends out really well. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Glow Your Way Illuminator palette. Look how beautiful are they? They do honestly some of the best highlighters, in my opinion, in the drugstore. I'm going to take... This is actually a Flower Beauty concealer brush, but I do use it as a highlighter brush. Can we? Just is if you get anything out of this range, it's a beautiful highlight palette you need. Not glittery at all, just a really pretty reflective highlighter. I'm gonna take the rose gold color. These don't show any texture. So beautiful. For lips, I am using this one. They brought out a lot of limited edition lipsticks last year, I think I feel like. Um, I don't know if it's still available, but 
they do have other similar shades and it doesn't say the shade name but it's the platinum liquid lipstick I think it might have been from me before I just haven't used it actually goes really well with the look I like that almost getting ahead of myself by doing my hair I've not, I still got one last one it's the rose water setting spray I really like the setting spray because it doesn't actually remove the foundation some do I didn't like the one that was meant to be the fix plus dupe it was like a white one didn't really like that one that highlighter though Yes. So thank you for watching, sticking around as I tried some much loved products and some new products and designer brands because they're not really talked about a lot here on YouTube and they're a fabulous underrated brand. I feel like, let me know if you're going to try any of these products out if you love BB. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Jenna, go over to her channel and say that you're from me and uh, it'll be really fun to see her channel grow a bit. So thank you so much Jenna for doing this collab with me and guys don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification button because then you won't miss an upload from moi. As always, I'll see you guys soon, be good, be safe and yeah, take care, bye.